Journal Record Editor Ted Struley joins us to discuss other stories making news in business this week. Ted, the Environmental Protection Agency is looking at tougher ozone rules. What would that mean for Oklahoma? Well, critics certainly say that it's going to mean uh, ridiculously high energy prices. In fact, uh, there was uh, one study that was cited that said uh, residential gas and electricity together could uh, combine to go up as much as 53 uh, percent within the next decade if all this comes to pass. So the EPA is looking to lower the parts per billion of ozone uh, from its uh, current limit of 75 down to between 65 and 70. They're even considering going as low as 60. They're taking comments on that now. But there's a lot of panic and the sky is falling over this. I think we're going to have to wait and see what happens as it plays out. A change is coming to the leadership of Devon Energy. Yeah, John Rochelle's announced his retirement. He's been Devon's president since 2004 and CEO since 2010. Uh, the board is likely to elect him as the new uh, chairman of the board as Larry Nichols uh, steps away from that last role that he's had with the company. Rochelle's big, uh, big accomplishment in his tenure has been shifting from drilling for natural gas to drilling for uh, oil and natural gas liquids. Change is also in the works for the Department of Commerce. That's right. Uh, Secretary of Commerce Larry Perman is stepping down from uh, his post. He's been there just a little over a year. Before that, he served eight months as Secretary of State. Uh, they'll have an interim director who's now their general counsel and public information officer until a new secretary is named. And here's a story you have really enjoyed. Oklahoma City's AAA baseball team will no longer be the Red Hawks. No, uh, with their recent sale, they became the AAA affiliate of the Los Angeles Dodgers, and they've been renamed officially this week as the Oklahoma City Dodgers with new logos and new uniforms. They're hoping that will help boost attendance uh, at Bricktown Ballpark. And you're a Giants fan, and so that's why that is of special interest to you. Uh, special, yes. Yes. What are you working on for next week? Well, you know, we have a uh, frequent correspondent who had the opportunity to visit Taiwan recently, and she found a series of three stories we'll be publishing about political unrest in Taiwan and how that's going to affect that country's trade with Oklahoma. All right. Ted Struley, editor of the Journal Record, thank you. My pleasure.